Dear white people, this is your friendly reminder that being a racist does not make you a bad person. Racism is not a morality issue. Racism is a socio-political issue, as best explained by Isabel Wilkerson in her book, Cast the Origins of Our Discontent. In this book, she breaks down exactly why it is that certain behaviors that you may not be aware of as being racist are actually racist. And while even though having white skin might not guarantee you the best opportunities in life, it's definitely not going to count against you the way black people's skin tends to be against them or Asians or just about anybody who isn't white. Now, what turns it into a morality issue is when instead of being an adult and confronting that the way that you were raised probably might not be okay today, you choose to do one of the following. Why do you always have to make it about race? We're not making it all about race. America did that when it put this fucked up system in place. Don't blame me. Thank you, forefathers. Okay, well, I get that, you know, slavery was a thing, but it was like 400 years ago. Why can't you just get over it? If I got to explain to you why that is callous as fuck, I hope the next time a brick falls on your foot and someone goes, why don't you just get over it? You see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. I mean, I've had a hard life too, but you don't see me complaining about it. This is called censoring yourself in the narrative. It's probably one of the most hurtful and harmful and racist behaviors because it's quite obvious that no one is saying that you were handed life on a silver platter. All we're saying is while you may have been given a styrofoam plate, we ain't got no fucking plates. That's what we're saying. This last one, though, is probably the worst because the media is the most guilty of this one. Blaming racist behavior on mental illness. Now, as a caveat, the idea that you should be treated better in life just because of the color of your skin or some abstract feature that you have absolutely no control over is probably best considered a mental illness. For a really great examination of the absurdity of this concept, you can take a look at Jane Elliott's blue eye, green eye experiment from back in the day. However, when you move the conversation away from taking responsibility and accountability for errant social behavior, such as what took place with Victoria's Secret Karen the other day, and now shift it into a stigmatized segment of the population, AKA the mentally ill, you end up further stigmatizing people who actually have mental illnesses so that way they can't get the help that they need because they don't present like Victoria Seeker Karen. And you further pass the buck of responsibility because nobody's going to hold the mentally ill person responsible for what's wrong with them. The exact same reason why legally you have to be a mentally sound mind in order to sign any contract. Now you have a choice. You can grow up and do the hard work the rest of us have had to do and realize that even though you didn't personally create the system, every time you comment under somebody's video, things like show me personally where this is racist, exactly, you're helping to reinforce it. Or you can keep doing what you're doing now and then you'll be a bad person because now you know better. Toodles. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. My mind, oh no. Never been afraid of doing time. Oh.